Hey my dudes, it's Caitlin, and today we are going to be filming two videos in one. So this video is going to be a speed build and a let's play, so I'm going to have both videos up at the same exact time. But basically, the speed build video is going to be a sped up version with just music overlaid of the whole building process, while the let's play portion of the video isn't going to be in-depth in the building process, like not going to show all of the building, but going to show all of my thoughts behind the building. And both videos are going to show you guys the maps before and after. I will also show you the final product in both videos, so if you just want to watch one, that's completely fine. I just couldn't decide which version of this I wanted to do, and I like talking to you guys as I build, um, so I just, this was my compromise, is just making two videos in one, and I hope that you guys enjoy. Before we get into the video, whichever one you're watching, I want to say thank you guys for all of your support recently. If you guys want to check out my Instagram, Kate's Crossing, or my main YouTube channel, Caitlin Films, feel free to do so. And with all that being said, let's get into the speed build and let's play. <laughs> Okay, so before we get into the speed build, um, this might be identical in both videos, but I want to show you guys my map right now compared to my planned map. So here's my map right now, and I'm going to put this beside my planned map. So um, my planned map obviously is not going to be to scale, and it's not going to be exactly how my map turns out. It was just a general idea so I would know what to do and where to build stuff but it's definitely going to be a lot different when it's completed, so I can't wait to compare the finished version of my island map with my planned map. One of the hardest things about making maps is making things to scale because of the scaling with Animal Crossing and how limited and small the map is, but I think that um, it'll turn out pretty good either way. So with that out of the way, the two videos will probably be pretty different from here on out. Okay guys, so before we get to building, about to make some monies with this. And I'm going to do some chores around the island. I got a thousand bells. Somebody said they could plant more than a thousand bells or 10,000 bells in the hole. I am so sorry if that is true. I just, in my experience, I've tried planting bells more than 10,000 bells and have never gotten more than 30,000 back. So maybe you have to be very lucky to get more than 30,000 back. So we're gonna check what's in the shop today. Okay, so in the shop today, I have this work shelf, which I think I'm going to buy. I honestly sort of want to buy everything. <laughs> I'm definitely buying this work shelf. I think that it would be good for like a lab or something, and I do want to integrate a lab into my next island. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that for this island, but I might as well have it just in case I can integrate it into something else I'm doing on this island. And I might be able to sell the piano. We're going to see how much it costs but I might be able to sell it on Nukazan. I'm going to buy it because it's only 53,000 bells and I can probably sell it for a lot on Nukazan, so I'm gonna add it to my Nukazan stuff. Okay, so that's it for what we're getting from the shop. I think we had a lot of good things in the shop today, so I'm really happy about that. So yeah, like I said, guys, I'm just going to do a couple chores around the island and then get to the speed build part. I just haven't played and I feel like playing tonight. So also, I might not finish this video tonight. I might have to be, oops. I might not finish this video tonight. It ha might have to be like a two day filming process. I'm starting this pretty late in the day. Um, it's not late on my game because I wanted it to be brighter outside, which it's not really, it's sort of dim outside still. It's 9 p.m. when I'm filming this, so. Um, I just jumped back 12 hours so it would be brighter even though it's honestly not much brighter. Guys, I also forgot to mention this, so this is going to be in both videos as well. I am starting a Twitch channel because I'm thinking about streaming on Twitch and YouTube. So I want to see how many followers I can rack up on Twitch as my channel grows. So I'm going to start now. And I don't know how many followers I'm waiting for, but once I get a decent amount of followers, I think I'm going to start Twitch streaming. So if you're interested in watching me on Twitch, please click the link below and check it out. And I would really, really appreciate it, guys. I have seven followers right now because I made a community tab post so um, go check it out see how many followers I have now and I'm really excited about it Coco's photobombing this she looks even creepier without her little bunny ears showing <laughs> I want to I want to do a reaction with you oh look at us 
that was cute. That was really cute. So another thing I want to do before I start the speed build is collect as many ornaments as I can. I'm going to shake all these trees and just talk to you guys while I do so. So I'm a little meticulous with shaking trees. I try to make sure I get like literally every single ornament I can out of the tree. Maybe it's not every single one you can get, but I get every single one that can fit on the ground dropped around the tree. Um, so I usually do this in the morning. Like I wake up, get my coffee and shake all the trees for ornaments. But I haven't done it in a little while because I've been a little busy. So I'm going to collect my ornaments. I can get two more on the side. So the first side, I think you can get eight ornaments. Yeah. And then the other side, you can get six. But I do this for probably like 30 minutes every morning, which is sort of funny. And as you guys know, I sold my ornaments last time for three million bells. And ornaments are gone after today. I don't, I think I might have said that. Yeah, ornaments are gone after January 6th. So they're probably gone if you're watching this and you'd have to time travel back to get more ornaments. So I think they'll go for even more now. I think people will be in more need of them. So I think it's a good time to collect them. Also, I leave the ornaments under the tree so I know which trees I've shaken. I don't know if you can get more than what falls on the ground initially, like the 14 that usually fall. I don't know if you can get more than that. You probably can, but um, I don't do more than that for each tree. So I just leave them on the ground so I can see which trees I've already shaken. Oh, I also built this random thing because I didn't realize you could build four levels, like a fourth level. Um, I've played this game since like, I have a different island. And I've played for so long and thought you had to stop at this level. I've played for nearly a year. Like, maybe eight months. Thought you had to stop at this level. But no, you can get another level. You just can't climb up it. I wish I knew that earlier. That changes, like, everything. The terraforming on my other island would have been so much different if I knew that. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to collecting ornaments. We're also gonna get snowflakes. <laughs> I promise that was not on purpose. I just suck at catching snowflakes. Oh my gosh. The first one was that embarrassing. See, I'm getting I'm getting better at it. My boyfriend was like, are you better at catching them yet? And I was like, oh my god, you really <laughs> thought I was that bad? He could even tell I was bad at catching them. I mean, it was pretty obvious when I hit the ground most times, but I'm definitely getting better at it. See that? I just got like four or five in a row. I'm- my skills are improving. Let's see what I just got Nook Miles for. Oh, it was for catching snowflakes. Okay, I'm done shaking trees for ornaments for now. I got a lot, as you can see, laid out on the ground. And I have a handful of trees left, so I'm just gonna leave those for now. Start the speed build, and then once I get bored or stuck on something, I'm just gonna come shake more trees. Okay, so let's get the Island Designer app open so we can start talking about what we gotta do. Gotta be in our gear to talk about our uh, construction plans. And I'm just gonna switch this to Cliff right now because I know I'm gonna forget <laughs> and build some waterscape instead on accident. So this is the area we're going to be building on all the way back to here and spread out back here. So I'm probably gonna have to dig out some trees, but basically this is going to be the area sort of next to resident services and around resident services that's going to have Able Sisters on a cliff. I don't know how I'm gonna fit it because my other plan, like the ice rink speed build uh, to the right of resident services, this area was not to scale at all from my map. So we're gonna have to see Let's see what I get from this balloon. I got shorts. This is not the season for shorts. So like I said, this is the area next to resident services where I'm building. And I'm gonna miss it because this is my snowflake catching area. There's usually a lot of snowflakes out here, but I already have 800, so I think I'm good for now. And I'm going to get started on the terraforming part. So I think I'm gonna do like the outline first. Gonna try and figure out like just the basics of where I'm gonna have everything laid out. And then after I get the outline going, I'm going to fill it in. So for the Let's Play video, I'm not going to have like all of the terraforming sped up so you can see it all. That's going to be in the speed build video. So I'm not gonna have much to say while terraforming. And when I do, you guys will see it. But otherwise, if you want to see the whole build, go check out the speed build video. Need some peaches so I can take out some trees. 
if need be. I think I will have to move trees, so I'm just gonna prep for that. Okay, so we need to get rid of these trees. I know I'm gonna run out of room in my pockets. Hello, Dizzy. Yeah, I, I always run out of room in my pockets, and it's so frustrating. But um, luckily I moved a lot of the trees from this area in the beginning, which is why it's so empty. I don't think I'll have to move these ones, but I'm going to just in case, so I don't have to do it later. I didn't originally plan it this way, but I think I'm gonna do a little indent in the cliff just because I wanna build something here on the beach, just so it's not the cliff right along the beach. Um, and my path sort of curves at the bottom. So I think it'll be fine if I do this. I think this will be a big enough area to put something here. Maybe, maybe not, but I can always knock it down if I need to. It just stresses me out when I start terraforming because then I realize how not to scale. My map was drawn and it just freaks me out a little, if I'm being honest. This is too big, but I'm just gonna make it too big and then I can like cut down around Able Sisters after I get the second level up, decide how big I want the second level. I'm gonna look up the dimensions of Able Sisters because it's not that big. Not gonna lie, kind of bored. Kind of want to just do this tomorrow. <laughs> but part of me is like, I just gotta keep going. But part of me is like, just do it tomorrow when it's not late and you're not tired. <laughs> But part of me just wants to do it because I'm excited for it, you know what I mean? There's just something so monotonous about building cliffs that just makes you want to go to sleep. Okay guys, so I was really tired. I ended up sleeping like 11 hours. Um, we're going to start working on the terraforming again. I was just so tired last night, I didn't want to finish it last night, so it's the next day. But we're going to keep going, and it's a brighter, nicer day, so... This is a better setting for the terraforming anyway. And with all that being said, let's get into it. Okay, and now I'm going to get back into filling in this area. It was just something about this put me to sleep last night. Just the really repetitive movements, I don't know. And then once I got off of Animal Crossing, I couldn't fall asleep, it was really funny. That's just how it be. So if we go up top, we go back here. This is where I'm gonna build another level for Able Sisters. And then you'll be able to see all the trees down there. So I have to look at my reference map for my design. A second level here, a little lookout area here, so you can see Town Hall and the waterfalls I'm gonna put behind it. And then Able Sisters right here. So I think I designed the perfect size place for this. If my voice is like groggy, it's because I just woke up. We should probably build the Able Sisters side first. I'm going to look up how big the Able Sisters is. Okay, I looked up a picture. I'll show you guys the picture I'm looking at. The Able Sisters is five by four. Um, and then it's gonna overlook the shop and a ton of trees if I get it correct because the like I said the scale is so off for my map especially from the at the beginning the rest I kind of made to scale but the front of my island is not to scale so I may be a little disappointed but that is okay once I get this second level up I'm basically gonna carve around it with the bottom level if I have enough room Abel's sisters kind of curves so I'm trying to, like, it's sort of on an angle, like the cliff it's on. So I'm basically bringing it down one block every time to get that curved effect. Cause see, if I do this, it becomes all one curved cliff. Cause I had one on each one. And then this is where the path will go. And I don't have much room left over here to build the second level over here but it's not the biggest deal if we don't get that second level because um, I can still do trees to create a path effect. But I do want a second level here, so I'm gonna try and build one. Plus, once I get Able Sisters up on the first cliff, I may not even need all that space, we'll see. Yeah, I might take the first cliff back a little so I can fit trees up here. And I wanted to fit trees on both sides of the path, but that is obviously not going to happen because we do not have a lot of room here. I really wish there were different tree rules. I think there's a tree glitch, 
I need to look up how to do it because I probably should have done that before this video. I really hate the tree rules, as you guys heard in my previous video. This path will curve around and go over here, and I wanted trees to line this path. So I'm going to bring this one back a little, somehow. First, let me map out where Abel's is gonna be. I'll show you guys how I do that. I think I want Abel's on the very back of it. And this is how I map out where the building's gonna be before placing it. So Abel's is five by four, and we can bring it back to the very edge of the cliff, I'm pretty sure, if I can get my thing to the very edge of the cliff. One, two, and I'm gonna put five over here. And then it's four long, so that's one, two, three, four. And that's our Able sisters. I don't fill it in. Usually, I know some people do, but I just do this. Make the outline, and then I can work on the cliffs before I even put Able sisters here. So I'm gonna work on these cliffs and figure it out. I might move the cliff back more this way and build Able sisters over here so I can have more trees on my path. More than just the none that I have right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to move this whole thing back more because I do want trees right here in front of Abel's too, like on this path on both sides. So I'm gonna have to extend my cliff back further, which is not what I wanna do based off of my map that I made, but I think it's the best decision for now because it's better to have more space than less and I can adjust the rest of my plans. So I'm going to add like probably two or three squares to this whole thing. If you're drawing your map, give yourself extra room rather than less room. That is my main tip because I gave myself way less room than I would need at the beginning of designing my map. If you can see, like I'll put it on the screen right now, the bottom right corner is very small, very, very small and not to scale. And the rest of it is pretty large and I think will be to scale, but it's, going to be hard to fit everything because I made it so small in the beginning when I was first designing it and didn't realize until after I started designing it. And obviously it's still going to work out. I'm still going to be able to get it somewhat to resemble the map or at least it'll give me a direction, like a creative direction, but um, it won't be exact. So if you're planning your map and you want it to be exact, you're going to have to make sure you scale things correctly. And you could do that by planning a small section of your map and then building it on your island and seeing if it's to scale. And if it's a little smaller or a little bigger, you can adjust how you're drawing your map. Okay, so this area is going to be perfect with trees. I'll be able to fit quite a few and I can extend this back if I need to fit more. This will be my viewing area of the plaza or maybe like right here because I'm going to put waterfalls back there, I think. And then I still need more room here for trees. So I'm trying to decide how I'm going to extend this. I'm probably going to have to extend it back more. Put some trees on either side to guide us to the outlook area and the tree area. Maybe I'll make this the outlook. I'm not sure yet. Okay, now I'm gonna carve out the second level or the bottom level, cause I want like a sunken pond next to Abel Sisters. I think I'm gonna work on the waterscaping just so I can get that out of the way too because that's difficult for me always. And then I can adjust it and add bushes and stuff afterwards. But I need to figure out what I'm doing here first. With the ramp right here, hopefully, if it'll go next to water. Okay, so I was gonna do a pond here, but I sort of like how this looks. So I think I'm gonna do a little like sunken tree river area, if that makes sense. Okay, I think I'm gonna go get some trees and start planting trees to try and figure out where my trees are gonna go. Most of my island's gonna be cedar trees just cause I feel like it fits the winter theme really well. And I'm going to take them from places I think I'm gonna build next. So it's just less stuff I have to do in the future. Okay, so the ramp is gonna go here if it'll fit with the water there, hopefully it will. Put some trees here. That'll guide our path. And the lookout area, I think it's gonna be right here. Since our lookout path's gonna be right there, 
we're gonna wanna place trees so that it leaves room for the path. So here we got our little path that goes to our viewing area. I think I'm gonna add another tree over here. And I'm out of cedar trees. Maybe another tree here too. So I need two more cedar trees at least. Let's buy our ramp and get all our Able Sisters kit ready. We're gonna try and see if we can fit the incline here. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. I thought it was gonna say it was too close to the water. I think that looks really good and we can fit another tree there. Thank goodness. I thought the water was gonna be too close. We reached our donation goal, AKA I just was the island sugar daddy. Guys, look how cute this is. This is perfect. Cause I think that is absolutely perfect. I think this is like a little, I mean, there's not a ton of space to decorate, but it's tiny and cute. I'm just gonna time travel and then uh, show you guys what it looks like so far. Okay guys, it's a new day. For some reason I thought of Spongebob where Mr. Krabs says another day, another dollar. I think, I think that's from Spongebob. Another day, another dollar. We're gonna check out how our build looks with everything put in. Ah, oh, that looks adorable. Look at that. Look at that. How cozy and cute. I wish I could fit another tree back here, but I sadly cannot. Who is that? Oh, Maggie wants to leave, I think. I think Maggie wants to leave. Please leave. Villager hunt on the way. Yes! Guys, we're getting a villager hunt soon. Yes, Maggie's leaving! Took a minute, but we need to plant some more trees after we get the path completely done. So I'm gonna add a dirt patch right here just to signify that, you know, it's traveling this way too. So here's a little dirt clump that signifies this goes up here, and then I'm gonna make a small path from here to the storefront. Here's the last piece to the path to the tailor shop. And I think this looks so cute. Okay guys, so now that we got most of this done, it's time to add some more trees. So we'll add a tree here and here. Okay guys, so I need to decorate and this is gonna be difficult because I don't have many items as we all know. So I'm gonna try and get creative. We could put a, one of these here, one of these back here. Actually, I'm gonna go get some mum flowers. Some red mums. Oh, looks like I only have two mums, two red mums. So I'll grab the pink ones too, I think. Oh, I forgot I had the mush parasol. Maybe I'll use that. Might use some log stakes. This is pretty cool. Oh, I should make one of these, hardwood and softwood. And the clothesline, which is tree branches. So I need hardwood, softwood, and tree branches. I think I'm gonna put a bush like right here, just because I don't like that corner. <laughs> you won't be able to see the corner if that bush is there. I don't know if I wanna put the destination signpost there, or if I wanna put maybe the mush parasol. I love this here. It makes sense. Beautiful. I love it. Even though you don't have a lot of items, it does not mean you cannot design things and decorate in the future. So I got that all decorated. I really can't do much decorating around here because I don't have many items. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow some more red mums and fill the area in with red mums and things like that just to add some color let's see how it looks from down here so many trees i love that a very simple build guys i'm sorry guys that i didn't do a huge amount of decorating or anything 
I don't have many items, as I said, so it's a little difficult to do any decorating, but I hope that you guys like how this Able Sisters build turned out. I am trying to do as, the best that I can with what I have, and I will do more decorating and Let's Plays and stuff, so keep an eye out for the Let's Plays for extra decorating and stuff like that to see the more completed looks. But this is what we got right now. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching both the speed build and the let's play if you watched both. If you watched just one, that's completely fine too and I thank you for that as well. I love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for all of your support and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!